So this one she turns into a gorilla, but this is actually part of the Universal Monster Stable. Really? Yes. Because, uh... It's one of the most obscure... When are they making this one? <laughs> this reboot? Ah, she's still here. I don't want to look at when Vera West died, because I want to be surprised when she's not gowns anymore. Hey, directed by... I'm not even going <laughs> to fucking attempt that one. Oh, it's Edward Dmitriak. That's easy. Those wise are just eyes. Oh. <laughs> Off to a stellar start. That's what I like about Sheila. Not the least bit jealous. That's what I like about you. You're a complicit woman in the farties. <laughs> You'll just do whatever the fuck I tell you. Oh, that tiger died. Oh, that's fine. He's trying to fight this tiger. He grabbed a chair. Look at that. Oh, he grabbed a chair and a cane! Is that a bald cap, or is he bald wearing a visor? He's just gonna go, why, why didn't you go back inside and shut the door? I think he stands a chance. Put him up, eh? Put him up. Where did just the tiger the go? <laughs> why did the tiger run away? It could have won that fight. Three attempts at racial improvement. Racial improvement. Turn humans into gorillas. <laughs> did, did I write this movie? You have enhanced race into gorilla. <laughs> That's enhanced. So the guy who plays the doctor is John Carradine. He's gonna play Dracula in another house movies. Look at she's bad. Can I go back in time? Damn. She's gonna be a gorilla soon, Ian. Which, the one on the left? I hope not. Oh my god. He's had a cigarette in his hand since he's entered the movie five seconds ago. He does look like Dracula, you're right. I feel like that mustache is needs to not, go. And I feel like it's gonna stay because no, he really doesn't seem like the kind of guy to shave it. He, it, it's, what is he, Henry Cavill? <laughs> he really should. Well, Dracula in the books had a mustache. Oh yeah, you're right. Those tiger roars. Makes me feel sad that they're probably torturing the tiger to make it make those noises. Um, no, you know what tiger roar foley is? Is it um, just a guy with a trash can? Yes, it's a guy with a trash can. Did you know the Metro Goldwyn Lion is actually mm -hmm. a guy with a trash can? Because lion roars aren't as powerful as tiger roars, but they're also not as powerful as guy with a trash can. The guy with a trash can is far more powerful than an yeah. actual lion. That guy sucks at his job. Just let the fucking tiger through, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of trash cans. So many trash can guys yelling into a trash can. Gorilla! Don't stab at the That's gorilla. definitely a guy in a fucking Shut costume. up! Halloween mask do of you a gorilla. Remember, do you remember the one where <laughs> the gorilla kidnapped the woman and got shot on the roof? That's King Kong. No, the Universal Monster movie that had that. Oh, oh, the Edgar Allan Poe one. Yeah, uh, the bad one. Morgan? One of them sucked and had a gorilla in it. It seems to have far above the average intelligence. Wow, this human in a husk of a costume is a natural. It's just weird because they use real animals for every other animal. In the 40s, they didn't know that. <laughs> in the 40s, they... they didn't care at all. Look at how, like, Dracula-esque this guy is. face is. <laughs> he looks like a model clay painting of himself. Oh, he has a secret lab. Ooh. I think John Carradine is my new favorite guy. <laughs> No, um... Fuck out of here, Clark Gable. Basil Rathbone in anymore. I know we gotta watch one movie where Sherlock Holmes is in it, right? Where he's actually yes. Sherlock Holmes? Yes, he is. We get to watch one of the Sherlock-a-thons because uh, an, a monster was the villain of that, and they liked him in that so much they spun him off into his own franchise, and he got two more movies, so he has a trilogy, really. What monster? The Creeper. It's really just a tall guy with an ugly face. <laughs> And they're like, this is a monster it's worthy of Dracula and Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, you can even see where the seam on the glove matches the rest of the cost. Fuck you, movie. Get a real gorilla. You got real everything else. Oh, the gorilla's killing this guy. I like this twist. What, that John Carradine's the bad guy? Because he's obviously the bad <laughs> is guy. Is it because he looks like a fucking Dracula human? Is he going to inject this woman with gorilla? This is the best movie. Is there blood transfusion? Oh my god. I swear to fucking Christ. This is the best movie. <laughs> so what is the best movie with a gorilla in it? Is it Rampage 2018? No. Um, definitely not. Probably the Planet of the Apes movie. Step Girls. Ooh, in I didn't even think about that. It just did a backflip. It backflip and then cut to a tiger not doing a backflip. Are they injecting the gorilla with her or her with the gorilla? <laughs> I think both. It's, is it a transfusion? She gets injected into the gorilla. What even is the operation being performed here? Wait. The gorilla is turning into her? <laughs> what? I'm gonna die. The gorilla's turning human. I'm gonna die. That's this the movie reverse is of. So good. It's the opposite of what I thought would happen. Watch a brain that once was fine and brilliant. Is now the best time to start monologuing at him? Because. A they gorilla like, just turned into a human being. They look like they have condoms on their heads. They, they do, but aside from that, they just cracked one of the biggest scientific achievements of all time. Monologue and then she's Adam. like, you're morally mean. Cool, so I'm not gonna kill this woman, I'm gonna kill you instead. He's literally gonna take her fucking brain, throw it into the ape woman. Best villain motivations of all time, making an ape woman therefore kill everyone. Oh, only 6% ape. We need at least 10. This movie's great. That's not Dr. Handwriting. That's how you know he's an actor. Perfect cursive penmanship. I like the Star Wars music in the background. So all the monsters in this movie series, eventually as the sequels go on, 
the monsters themselves become used to kill people. Like, they, that's happened with a lot of them. Yeah. The mummy did that. Frankenstein's become that. Now the ape woman in her first movie is actually becoming that. Dracula hasn't done that yet, but he's only been in one movie. He's been in... Right, because the sequel didn't even have him in it. This is the one big break of my life. I can be a circus animal handler. <laughs> my big break. <laughs> Do you like the looped garbage can audio? This could be my big break. I thought he was gonna get eaten, but wait a minute, that's they're like, just having a cat fight. You can't fake that in 1940 whatever and make it look convincing. So those are actual two animals fighting each other right now. She's a gorilla. It's like she's some kind of woman, some a captive, captive wild, wild woman. woman. I don't know. So far, she's not a gorilla. She's just kind of standing there looking confused. I'm having fun. Do you think he's gonna fall out of love with Drew Barrymore and start fucking the gorilla girl? Trying to slap some gorilla cheeks. She's the Tiger Whisperer. Better name for the movie. This is like Doctor Doolittle. He did a lot. He did. Name's misleading there. He did quite a bit. Doctor Doolittle does have the same ring it to it. It does have the same ring to it. That's exactly it. She's using her gorilla mind control powers. This is like Doctor Doolittle. They're exploiting her skill for such little pointless <laughs> shit. He slaughtered a woman to make a gorilla woman real, but and this is, is their using effect. her for purposes of circus lion taming. Right. That like, of all the things you could do as a gorilla person, do you not think like? <laughs> Lion taming is way the fuck low on the list. Oh, I hope it fucking mauls him. He has a gun and a chain. I've never been a big circus person. Imagine paying for this. I'd rather go to a zoo. Right? Then you can pet them and they're not ferocious. No, no, you can't pet tigers at a zoo. Not tigers, but most animals. Uh-oh. Monkey woman's jealous. Oh, no. Ape out. Ape out. Ape out. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. She's a regular human, Mad. Ah. Did she just go blackface? Oh, this is the best movie I've ever seen in my life. Why did Universal make this movie? What kind of is drugs what... do you have to be on oh. <laughs> to make a premise like this? She looks like the Wolfman. She looks more like the Wolfman than the Wolfman does. Oh so she doesn't God. turn into a gorilla. She's like a half. She's a hybrid. She's captive wild woman. Yeah, Gorilla Girl is her title. Gorilla Girl. I like that. That's pretty clever. Deep claw-like incisions at the back of the throat don't seem to have been made by human hands. How many movies has there been like a murder and then the people around have gone, it wasn't a human that caused this. It was a... Wolf, Dracula, Animal Frankenstein. Monkey. That actually Jesus looks great. Christ. That looks better than the Wolfman. Now the Wolfman looked great too. So this movie's a banger, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. It feels like the movie's just getting going. And there's like 10 minutes left. Yeah, it's not long enough. Wow, I've never thought I'd say that about a monster movie. It's a new feeling, huh? No, oh, it'll go away in one movie, probably. <laughs> and the next one is actually Fan of the Opera, the one that people like. Does it have the banger in it? No banger. It's got Claude Rains naked as the I fancy. love him! <laughs> I'm gonna sell you on a little bit more. It's in fucking color. What? It's Technicolor. Even though it's 1943. We get to watch a well, full I mean, color Wizard version. Wizard of Oz came out in 1939, and it wasn't color. L listen, only classics get the color treatment for some reason. Dorothy! Dorothy! Answer me! Did she knock on the phone? How many more tickets would the circus sell if you marketed the ape woman as being part of your circus? You have so many regular lions and regular tigers, and you have something that science, like, again, groundbreaking discovery. And they're just like, you know what, we'll use her to stand on the sidelines as a regular woman. She controls the animals real good. Or she could be a half animal. Yeah, but that won't sell tickets. That will sell all the tickets. I'm gonna put your brain into her brain. Probably, I mean, that's what this fucking guy does. You're staying here, you're next. You have a great brain, I'd love to take it and put it into my monkey person. It's gonna pounce. It's gonna pounce. No, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna get through scot-free and save the day from Dracula. And the movie's gonna be end just, just just like the rest of them do. And the monkey's gonna stay a monkey. Don't forget the pitchforks and torches. We're in the home stretch at it then. Really? Yeah, there's five minutes left. Like a seven is pretty good. Is she gonna let the ape out of the cage? I hope so. Oh, she did! So this is the ape woman gorilla girl attacking him? It's... Just an ape? Oh my god. <laughs> he didn't save the day. A woman saved the day. What? She has to at least cook two dinners and marry a man by the end of the movie. There's no T-bone steak, dry martini, and 13 packs of cigarettes in Exactly. This Fucking garbage can city. Oh, and the gorilla's gonna come save the day at the last second then. The right? The gorilla? No, the gorilla's the bad guy. No, the gorilla's the good well, guy. Well, the bad guy is John Carradine, but the gorilla's the other bad guy. It's uh, cinematography right there. <laughs> oh, pfft. See 10 that? out of 10. I'm also feeling the 7 right now. Here comes the guy in the ape costume. Who do you think's gonna win this fight? The lion or the ape man? 
woman. He's not even bleeding. I'm mauled by a lion. How is he alive? His arm should be off of his body. That was that. That's how it ended.